chapter number 15 homeostasis and today we are going to discuss about homeostasis first of all the term homeostasis what is homeostasis derived from a greek statement means to stay same homeostasis literally meaning to stay same not to stay constant means there are some variabilities there are some fluctuations but to maintain the state is the homeostasis let's define it the protection of internal environment from the harms of fluctuation in external environment means there are two environment an organism faces an external environment external environment and the internal environment in external environment the organisms lives but in the internal environment its tissues its organs lives now there is a difference between external environment and the internal environment for humans the internal for example for humans the internal temperature set point is 37 degrees celsius but there is a hell of difference in the external environment either it could be less or it can be higher than the 37 degrees celsius and to maintain it its set point is the homeostasis there can be a variability there can be a fluctuation it can be up and down but to maintain the capability to maintain internal state is the homeostasis. Next, I'm about to the next statement, the next definition ki, a set of regulatory mechanisms which are involved in maintaining an organism condition in which an organism lives. Means the organisms has two conditions again this internal condition and the external condition first definition may have word environment ka use kiya tha, but second definition may have condition use kar rahe for example agar usse dehydration ho rahi hai to uski body signal degi that i am dehydrating bring me water so the water is the condition that the organism is getting dehydrated itself so the condition is that it must be provided but to maintain its internal condition next definition the tendency of an organism or cell cell to tolerate its internal conditions to regulate its internal conditions why we used the word cell as the cell is the basic unit of life the conditions starts from the cell then tissue then organs and then organ system and organism the thing that an organism feels is the thing that the cell feels jo condition aapke cell ki hogi wohi condition aapke tissues face karenge wohi condition aapke organs face karenge wohi condition aapke organ system face karenge aur phir wohi condition hi organism face kar raha hoga agar aapke cell mein dehydration hai if there is a dehydration in your cell, then automatically there is dehydration. There is lake of water in your tissues. There is lake of water in your organ. There is lake of water in your organ systems. And then finally, you will feel that you are de getting dehydrated. You have lake of water and you should fulfill it. This one is the homeostasis. The tendency, the capability to maintain internal environment. Organisms are living in two environments. First one is their internal environment in which their body organs. All the organs, all the cells, all the tissues are living. That one is the internal environment within their body. But there is an also an environment which is external to their body. And there is a fluctuation between internal environment and the external environment. Let's suppose there is a temperature between internal and external environment external environment is minus 5 degrees celsius but my body temperature my body normal temperature is 
seven thirty seven degree Celsius. So there is a hell of difference between internal environment and the external environment. My body has adopted some adaptations to maintain this difference of fluctuation between internal and external environment. This capability, this tendency of my body to stabilize its internal environment as per whatever the external environment is, this capability is the homeostasis of my body. Next, there are some processes. Kuch processes in our homeostatic process. Mein. For example, सबसे पहले हम कुछ सॉल्यूट्स की बात कर लेते हैं कुछ वेरिएबल्स की बात कर लेते हैं जो कि हमारी बॉडी को फेस कर फेस करने पड़ सकते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ देम इज द वाटर सेकंड वन इज टेंपरेचर एंड नेक्स्ट वन आर द वेस्ट्स मींस सॉल्यूट्स और नाइट्रोजीनियस वेस्ट हम जिसे कह सकते हैं प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आवर बॉडी स्क्रीट्स आउट ऑफ द बॉडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाटर की बात करते हैं इफ माय बॉडी नॉर्मल वाटर कैपेबिलिटी इज नॉट गेटिंग फुलफिल्ड दैट आई एम इन नीड ऑफ टेन ग्लास ऑफ वाटर पर डे बट आई एम नॉट टेकिंग इन टेन ग्लास ऑफ वाटर डेली सो दैट there is a lake of water in my body and the water is called osmo osmo regulation mean regulation of water in your body let us define it a mechanism of regulation generally between organ organ organism and its environment means regulation हमेशा दो इन्वायरमेंट्स के दरमियान होती है कंप्रोमाइज टू पार्टीज के दरमियान होता है सिंगल पार्टी हो इट कैन कंप्रोमाइज विद इट सेल्फ ऑर्गेनिज्म का कंप्रोमाइज है इसके इन्वायरमेंट के साथ रेगुलेशन करनी है उसने अपने इन्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से इफ आई एम गेटिंग डिहाइड्रेट आई विल टेक इन वाटर इफ आई एम गेटिंग हंगरी आई विल टेक इन फूड this one is my regulation this one is the signal that my body my brain is giving that i am getting hungry i am getting lake of water in my body so the regulation of water in your body is the osmo regulation next one is the excretion excretion means excrete out expel out of the nitrogenous waste from your body elimination of nitrogenous waste from your body when you take in food there are some nitrogenous wastes which are purified in your liver from your blood and then are excreted out through the passage of your kidney to bladder and then through your urine this one is the basic process to maintain the nitrogenous waste in your body this one is the excretion process this will stabilize the sars quantity in your body this one is the excretion next the temperature Tem temperature is the main factor that can affect an organism and the maintenance of the temperature within a tolerable range means tolerable my body can tolerate 37 degrees celsius it's the normal requirement of my body but i can tolerate to 40 degrees celsius maximum but i can't tolerate from 40 to above this one is the maintenance of the temperature to within a tolerable range this one is the thermoregulation and thermoregulation is basic for homeostasis because all the body parts all the enzymes all the proteins and all the other major biomolecules are working on a normal range of temperature this one was the basic introduction 
and the next one point that the homeostatic process is an evolutionary process homeostatic process in an evolutionary process means the organisms get themselves some adaptations some equipments in their body to bear the environment this one is the evolution that the oldest human being has some different adaptations and the newest human being has some different adaptations that there is a development they tolerate they can tolerate more more temperature compared to us but we can't tolerate the same temperature this one is the evolution in your homeostatic process so the homeostatic is the evolutionary process that's was the all about the homeostatic 